Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another how-to. My name is Mr. Ian, I'm a programmer here at the Erlinger branch. You can usually find me over in the Stream Center, which is our makerspace where you can create all sorts of fun things. And the fun thing we're going to be creating today is a box heart. Let's get started. To make your very own box heart, you will need some rubber bands, scissors, tape, glue, popsicle sticks, a pen, a pencil, or a marker, and of course, a box. Anything around the size of a sealed box should be perfect. Other optional supplies, if you have them, are some binder clips, paper clips, or Legos, which I'll cover later in the video. So here I have my box, and we're going to start off by cutting the hole near the bottom of the box. We don't want it in the middle, we don't want it right up against the edge. So it's going to be somewhere in between there. And I'll mark it off here with my marker. Somewhere around there. In fact, I'll take my little tape roll and draw around it to be super accurate. Then just cut around. And here is our sound hole. Next step you're going to want to do is some more cutting with our rubber bands. You're going to take each rubber band and cut it in half. Any amount of rubber bands will do, but I find that six to eight is perfect. This one's already been cut in half. How convenient. All right, and with our rubber bands all cut in half, we're going to tie knots on each end. So all you have to do to tie a knot is to put a little tiny loop in there, then take the end and pull it through. And there we have a little rubber band knot. And you're gonna wanna do that on each end of each rubber band. All right, and here we have all of our rubber bands. Now we're gonna set those off to the side. Instead of doing some cutting, we're gonna do some gluing with our popsicle sticks here. We're only going to put one layer of popsicle sticks on the box in two places. And I'll draw a line right across here at the bottom below the hole here in a straight line. And then we're going to have another line up here and it's going to come down at an angle like that. So, all we have to do now is glue our sticks on there. If you have a bit of an overlap on each side, that's fine. In fact, that's good because then we can rubber band the ends and make it a bit tighter later on. So, I'll glue those on there. Ta -da! And these popsicle sticks are what we're going to put our rubber bands on. And we can do that on the bottom right now. So we're gonna take our rubber bands, line them up on here, spaced however you want. I'll do three on each side here. So what we're going to want to do is take some tape, uh, duct tape works, masking tape works, electrical tape works. Only thing I would avoid is some scotch tape. It doesn't have quite enough grip to keep the rubber bands in place, but you'll want to cut a bit of tape into strips like this. And 
we're going to use these strips of tape to hold down the rubber bands for just a little while. So you'll tape the rubber bands down on their ends below the popsicle sticks. And that'll keep them from moving around when we're stretching them and doing other stuff. There we go. So with our rubber bands taped in place, we're going to take another popsicle stick and glue it over top of the rubber bands like this and that'll help keep them in place when they're stretching across. All right, there we go. Now we'll repeat the process with the other side. So here we have our bottom half of the box done. We have our rubber bands all knotted up and sandwiched between the popsicle sticks. Now we can stretch them up here and do the same thing on the top. Before we do that though, we want to make double sure that these rubber bands don't slip through the popsicle sticks when we stretch them up. And there's a number of ways you can do that. I found that the best way is to use a paper clip and just tighten it up around the knot of the rubber band. them like that or you can use a binder clip just clip it onto the edge of the rubber band like that or you can even use Legos if you want to give it a bit of a decorative touch you just put the rubber band between the bricks here But if you don't have any paper clips or binder clips or Legos, that's fine. Because you can also just take some pieces of tape and tape around the knot of the rubber band. If you do that a few times, it'll give it a little bit more width and it's not going to slip through the little cracks in the popsicle sticks. And so here I have my rubber bands with paper clips on the bottoms. Now if I pull on one of these, even if I take off the tape, it's not going to slip through the popsicle sticks. So we're safe to pull off the tape here. Now we can get to work on our top bit. And that's going to be the same as the bottom. We're going to stretch these up and tape over them and glue down a stick. Now with our rubber bands taped onto the top here and with the sticks on top, we can put some little ends on them, like my paper clips. And here we have my paper clipped, untaped top bit here at a slant. And now we have our strings. But they don't sound too good. Over here, I have another example. And it sounds much better. And that is because we have one more step, which is to create the little bridges here. This stretches out the strings and makes them sound a bit better and easier to pluck. So all we have to do is take some popsicle sticks again, like you can see here. Just a bunch of popsicle sticks and all I've done is rubber band them together. You don't have to glue them or anything. Just take a rubber band, tie it around a few times, that'll keep them in place. Like I mentioned earlier, you can also do that on the ends of your sticks here. 
and that keeps them a bit tighter if you're having problems with your rubber bands escaping the popsicle sticks. You can see here I have the tape too compared to the paper clip method. But all I have to do is take your popsicle sticks that have been bundled together, slide them under, Yeah. And take the other one too. Why not? Slide them under here. And with our rubber bands clipped and on the popsicle sticks stretched across these little bridges here, we now have a box harp. And now you're the proud owner of a box harp. If you want, you can add some strings, play around with the bridges, see how it changes the sound, maybe even start a band. Whatever the case, go out and make some noise. Hope you enjoyed this how-to. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.